here at the Starlight Festival and I'm the event manager. Uh, this year I've taken over from my father and uh, it's been wonderful. It's just been beautiful. I'm here offering a space for people to learn how to live consciously and uh, be spiritually awakened, find their essence, find their truth, find their oneness, wholeness um, and genuinely connect. Whether it be to their physical, whether it be to their emotions, their outer realms, uh, the universe, uh, it's a chance for you to go deeper and find more of you, find your trueness. Oh, it's not my show. <laughs> it's quite weird it not being my show, but I'm getting used to it. And my daughter Rosie's doing a fantastic job. So the kind of things you can find at the Starlight Festival is anything from massage, tarot, aura clearing, uh, workshops, we offer a lot of workshops, uh, psychics, what else, uh, sound healing, hands-on healing, and then we offer workshops and meditation and yoga, beautiful food, ethereal sounds which you can hear in the background, that's actually someone singing. Uh, so anything a little bit different. And these two make a very interesting sound when they're played together. every year at the new year and I work for the Institute for the Study of Peak States which is an international organization um, researching the connection between biology and spirituality and we devise and research new methods of healing that are based on <coughs> healing the damage that was occurred when the physical body got manufactured, you know, as well, not just to birth, but even into conception and into the sperm life, into the egg life, and so on, and to the point in time where you didn't exist. This is a bit of a picture of what it looks like on the cellular level. So when people have a trauma, we see something like this in the biology and we heal this, not the psychology of the trauma. And uh, we have the uh, workshops area and we have Malini on and she's doing conscious meditation, which has been received really well. Maybe in the external world, the problem in the external world is just a reflection of what's going on inside of us. And maybe the greatest contribution that I could make on this planet would be to simply find my own there was a burning question in me when I was really young and that is I saw so much dysfunction around me and um, especially in my immediate vicinity and on the world stage and I wanted to know the answer to the question is it possible for human beings to live in harmony with themselves with life to be a fulfilled happy being so I was looking for the answer to that question is it possible for a human being to live like that and the answer is yes <laughs> And then the most natural thing to do after you find what you're looking for is to um, want to pass that along. My name is Julia Williamson and I'm running singing workshops for people to help them to overcome their inhibitions and just let go and sing. all around the country and whoever comes in often they come in scared and they leave just elated.
got your husband, I've got your mama, I've got your son there. I have another son who's 43. Who's oh, we've got uh, Jason McDonald, who's one of the region's best mediums. So he's very good at talking to dead people and he's very authentic. See what I'm getting. Zanti, where is the Gemini or the twin connection for your love? Okay, on the other side? Yep, he's Gemini? Yeah. Put a mate to cook for her. Okay, he. I, I shake him with him before he passes mm -hmm. on. Did he go over with the heart when he crossed over? Did he die of a heart or no. a coronary problem? Because no. he's telling me that the organ shut down with yeah. the wind. People love it. People do love talking to dead people, and it's intriguing. Spirituality, the word spirituality, I tend to avoid a little bit only because it comes overlaid with a lot of um, concepts. Uh, so I tend to avoid that word and use the word mindfulness. But what spirituality really means to me is touching the deepest aspect of what it means to be human. And where you get that sort of feeling in our gut and uh, it's a knowing feeling. So you know, I think we lose track of that and with the chaotic world we live in, Sometimes we don't, um, we don't get in tune with that, and I'm sure all of us as good clairvoyants as anybody here, but we just lose sight of that. So it's that knowing feeling deep down. Spirituality for me would be knowing enough about your own soul's journey to be able to be effective on the planet at this time in a, in a gentle, powerful, effective way, particularly for women. Spirituality, um, keeping in contact with family, friends that's passed, and spirit guides are protector. Yeah, no, it's good. It's all good. I think there's a bit of what I'm seeing in the media called constantly a mindfulness revolution going on. So I think there are, yeah, people from all walks of life, men, women, all different age groups. But I think there are a lot of people going through maybe a similar disillusionment that I went through when I was younger. They're kind of, the white picket fence dream isn't quite working out, so they want to look for something else. So it started actually at the Bell Iron Bay Surf Club uh, 18 years ago. And we're teaching her son now, he's nine, so he can take it over from her. So the Starlight Festival will go on infinitely.